What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hasbro toy review on Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Titan Hero Power FX Thanos. If you're trying to get your Titan Heroes figures, you can do so at Big, 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 big. get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I want to give a big thanks to Hasbro Toys for sending this over my way, along with the rest of the toys that were in that press box, and I will be doing some giveaways, so stay tuned for that. But looking at this right here, I did did want to open up this Thanos. I did see P2 do a review on this. So anyway, right there we get Thanos. You can just see the Thanos right inside. And then on the side, you get Thanos again right over there. Looking really cool. And then on the back, you can see Thanos. And then there's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then you can see there's a Titan Heroes Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor. And then on this side right here, uh, it shows how you can see that there's parts that connect to the back of these. And you can see some Iron Man parts back over there, which looks a little wacky to me. And then it says Avengers Infinity War with Thanos. And nothing at all at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Thanos out of the packaging. And for a kids toy, it's actually not too bad looking. There are some things that, I mean, really do bother me about it. But again, I am an adult collector, which is not what this is marketed for. This is really geared towards the kids, but still very cool looking. And there are still some good things to talk about with this piece. So let's get a closer look. So here's looking at the head sculpt, which looks okay, but I do have quite a few qualms with this. Uh, there's this thing going on with the side of his chin right over here where it flips out on the left side but not on the right and it makes it difficult to actually get his chin or his whole head like within this collar right there and you can see it's making his head look off in a weird direction because I have that tucked in there so that irritates me though but I do like how the face looks I like how he looks all angry uh, the eye paint is a little off on the right side right there and they do have the lines above the mouth which look more like scars so I wonder if somebody scratched him up pretty good it looks pretty even on each side though so it could just be his face I mean he's supposed to be messed up looking dude you know this is mental issues you know the, the, the guy's the ultimate sociopath man but uh, looking at the back of the head right here you can see some marbling in the plastic it's a kind of eh, it just stops right over here so it's mostly smooth you know, not looking too bad. A little bit of red scuff right there, so yeah, not a god-awful head sculpt. It looks okay. And then looking at the armor right there, I think that looks great. Or his muscle tee anyway. I do like the gold color that we're seeing right there. It looks pretty good. Kind of a darker bronze type of color. Then he has those lines on his arms. And then we have the left arm, I mean the right arm right there. I want to save the Infinity Gauntlet. I do think this bicep looks weird. You know, it looks a little squished the, the way it's sunken in there. But big old meaty arms. And the plastic color isn't consistent throughout on the figure. You can see that the fist is a different color than the forearm. Uh, same thing with the head. There's more of a bluish hue in the arms right here than on the head or the fists. So that, that's bothersome. But looking at the Infinity Gauntlet itself, it does look pretty good. You know, we get a very flat color right here, but it doesn't really bother me too much, especially for a kid's toy. I'm actually impressed by the amount of sculpted detail that we're seeing in this. Uh, they could have probably just decoed that instead of, you know, actually sculpting it through so I do appreciate that the stones are all colored very well you know so we got some nice looking stones right there right we get our mind stone soul stone reality stone space stone power stone time stone pretty cool I have still been having a great amount of fun with my one-on-one -on -one scale infinity gauntlet that thing is just a lot of fun but yeah this looks good. Uh, I do like how the Infinity Gauntlet looks. If you painted this up, you know, with a lot of detail, like brighter silver and some weathering, it could look pretty amazing, actually. I could imagine a customizer doing that for fun. And then looking at the lower torso, you could see some stretching, you know, in the fabric of his muscle tee. So that's kind of neat. It gives it some realism. There's the back. So this guy, uh, you need to attach, like, one of those packs to, for any sounds to come through. You know what I mean? And it's going to come out of one of those packs. So the toy itself doesn't actually make any sound and it's quite hollow as you could hear yeah so it's a pretty hollow toy uh, you do get a little a for Avengers right on the inside there that's kind of neat and all this whole circuit board pattern going on on the inside it's kind of cool and then you get Thanos butt flap and then the legs look pretty good and I like the lines and you get some wrinkles in there so I like it when they add some realism to it nice knee pads 
so it, you know, breaks up the color. Same thing right here, yeah, except I don't think this is on purpose. At first I thought it was, but the front of it is one color and then the other side of it is another color. I don't, is, was that on purpose or not? I, I can't really tell, because on this side, no, this side it's just one color, and then this side you get two colors. And then this side, you get two colors right there. So somebody mispainted this piece right here. Oh, jeez. No peckles at the bottom of the feet, and he does have treads. So the articulation is extremely limited on this piece. Uh, you can make his chin go upward that far, and not downward. We'll try to tuck it into the collar, and then he'll kind of look downward. And, oh, yeah, you get side-to-side -side movement just that much going that way and going over the collar like that, and you do get some head pivoting. Uh, the shoulders move outward that far, and you can rotate them a full 360, and that's it for the arms. No waist or torso articulation. He can do a full-on split, so we get those DCUC gaping crotch pit joints right there, and then he does kick forward that much, not back at all, which would help, because when you have his fist forward like this, he kind of wants to fall forward, but if the legs could move back, he would be able to stand a bit better, and that's all the articulation, and there's, there's nothing else. That, that, that That's it. Now to measure out this Thanos toy, you can see that he's standing just about 12 inches tall. Now for your MCU Thanos comparison, we have the Titan Hero Power Effects Thanos next to the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Thanos. One thing I do like about this figure right here that we don't have on this one is I do like the gold color that we're seeing around the top of his torso compared to this. I don't know. And I think the proportions actually look, I don't know, a little bit better, right? I mean, his head does look a bit on the small side, doesn't it? Especially when you see the two side by side. I don't know, maybe this one's head is a little bit too big. I don't know. Somewhere in between the head sizes I think would probably be a perfect fit. Of course, when I say perfect head size, I mean in proportion to each of their bodies. And then here's a very cheap kid's toy version of Thanos compared to a very expensive adult collectible of Thanos. We have the Hot Toys Thanos from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 movie. And then here's a Titan Hero Thanos next to the classic comic look of Thanos from Marvel Select. And then here's Thanos next to another toy from that press box that I received from Hasbro. We have the basic figure of Captain America. And if you remember me discussing this in my P.O. Box video where I unboxed all these figures, I wanted to test to see if this shield piece can go on to the right side of the Marvel Legend version of that Captain America and it ports into his hand just fine it's just that these two shields don't really match together very well nope and the legs are so floppy on this Please. and then here's a Titan hero Thanos figure next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man oof and they call me a big time letdown what about you Whoa. Uh, am I am I Deadpool this is kind of actually an upgrade now that oh so I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos all the way through. It really does help the channel out a lot. It also helps when you guys hit that like button, leave comments, and subscribing as well as hitting that notification bell. Again, this is not for adult collectors. This is definitely a kid's toy, and I think for a kid's toy, it does its job well. Uh, you can just have him standing there, and it'll look cool. So it's a cool-looking Thanos, uh, but there's still a lot of problems with it, even just the aesthetics alone, you know what I mean? Uh, discrepancies with the paint on the leg and then that whole thing with the chin so yeah you know I can't really give this a high sud rating it does get a pass but again this is not intended for adult collectors it's intended for children so I want to know what you think in the comments section below if you want to see a photo gallery of images I should have it up over at chardonmasprime.net and marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me on the social media on the Facebook Twitter and Instagram links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm short of his prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.